Hi everyone, welcome back. Are you working with huge collection of grid records? You might be looking out for a best way to filter and display the precise information out of the huge collection of grid records. In this video, I'll show you how to filter grid records by using different filtering types and built-in operators in Syncfusion View Grid. I will also show you how to add custom filter template to the filter bar in View Grid. First, I'll start with enabling the filter option in View Grid, which you must be already familiar with if you have watched my previous video. Those who have not seen it yet can find that video link from the description section below or the card shown above. So, I'll open my existing project and begin with small intro about how to enable filter option in Grid. You can also download this existing project from the link shared in the below description part. Here, I'll open my existing view application where a simple grid code is added and the local JSON data is assigned to the grid data source property. To enable the filter, import the filter module from the EJ2 view grids package and inject it into the provide section. Here in the grid code, the allow filtering property is enabled. Let me run this example and show you the output. Here you can see the filter bar shown in the grid. I will type the text value and based on that grid display the matching records. Notice here the grid records contain a diacritic value and when I type a text value BO in the filter bar, you can see the diacritic value is not filtered. So let me show you how to filter grid data with the diacritic character. Under the data method of script section, Define the filter options variable of object type and include the ignore ascent property and set its value to true. Then assign this filter option variable to the filter settings property of the grid. Now we can see grid records are filtered with matching diacritic characters. Now let's see the various built in filter operators available in view grid and its supported types. Notice here, the operators starts with, ends with and contains supports only string type. Operators like greater than, greater than or equal, less than and less than or equal supports number and date types. Equal and not equal operators supports string, number, boolean and date types. In this example, I will show you how to use the starts with operator for custom ID column to filter grid records. Inside the filter options object, include the columns property of array type. I will add the field property and set its value to custom ID. Then I will include the operator property and set its value to starts with. Include the value property and set its value to V. Now, I will show you the output. You can see the grid records are filtered based on the customer ID column value which starts with V. Apart from the default filter bar displayed in a grid, you can also change the filter type to menu, checkbox and Excel-like filter. Here, I will comment the unwanted code snippets from the data method of script section. First, let's see how to have the filter option in a column header with a menu. I will define the type property and set its value to menu over here. Notice here, the filter menu is enabled in the grid column header based on its column type. Now, let me show you how to have the filter option in checkbox. I will change the filter type to checkbox over here. Now, you can see the filter options are available with checkbox in the menu and you can filter the records by checking or unchecking them. Now, I will change the filter type to Excel over here. You can see 
the Excelic filter options shown here with the checkbox and operators. You can also enable the checkbox filter option for a specific column in a grid. For the customer ID column, I am going to display a filter menu with checkboxes. I will define another object, column filter options, with the type checkbox. Then I will assign this option to the filter property in the customer ID field under the columns directive. You can see the customer ID column as the checkbox based filter and other columns are the Excel filter. In the real time scenario, you may be required to add custom component to the filter bar. So I will show you how to add the drop down list component to the customer ID field using the filter template property of column directive. Let me remove the filter settings property from the grid code and its relative code snippets in the data method to render the grid with the filter bar. First, install the EJ2 dropdowns package from Syncfusion. Import the dropdown list plugin from EJ2 dropdowns package and register it using the view.use method. Inside the methods object, I will define the custom template method and define the template. Inside the template, I will return the drop down list plugin. Now I need to bind the data to the drop down list accessing from the grids customer ID field. I will use the data util function to retrieve unique customer ID values from the grids data source. To use the data util function, I must import it from the Syncfusion EJ2 data package. Now inside the computer property of the template, I will define a new method with the name customer distinct data and return the unique data values from the customer ID field using the data util function. Then I will assign this method to the data source property of dropdown list and assign the appropriate mapper fields to the drop down list as per the grid data source. Finally, I will assign this custom template method to the filter template property of the corresponding column directive. Now, I need to filter the grid records manually while changing values from drop down list in the filter bar. For that, I will include the change event and assign the get data callback method in drop down list code. Let me create a global event bus to transfer data between these two components. Inside the get data method, I will emit the event with the value selected from the drop down list. I will turn on the event and add the filter customer ID event handler. Now I will add the ref property to the grid code and set its value to grid. Inside the methods object, I will define the filter customer ID method. Using ref, I will access the filter by column method from grid instance and pass the required details like field name, operator name and event. Let me save this example and show you the output. Notice here, 
The drop-down list is rendered in the filter bar. By selecting a value from the drop-down list, we'll filter and show the matched records from the grid. Now, let me make a quick summary of what we have seen so far. I have shown you how to enable a filter bar in the view grid and filter grid records by using the built-in operators. I have also shown you the different filter types in the view grid and to add the custom components in the filter bar. You can check our user guide documentation link provided in the below description section to learn more about filtering in our Syncfusion view grid. Post your comments below if you need additional information about any grid topics. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video useful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos. Thank you.